crew I had, we actually filmed a short film all together for the first time a month before. And what was challenging? Audio? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a beautiful team, so we worked with people that we worked with before on different occasions. Both Justin and I filmed a music video for Rachel. And, uh, and our editor, Mike, we've worked with for years, so we, and we're editors ourselves, so we shot to edit. So shooting to edit is a, a point term basically while you're filming you're you're keeping editing in mind. So you're just not like letting the camera roll, you're being considerate of uh, how you're gonna cut, uh, what angles you want, cutaways, there's a lot of things that come to mind as an editor that most members don't aren't considered of. So that's why I said it. Um, I'm Justin Rodriguez. Uh, I was the writer and director along with Everett and Mike. Um, I think the most challenging part for me was the stunt work, like figuring out the choreography. Um, the only fight training I have is like a kickboxing free membership card that I got off the front of it, kind of it. Um, so it was just figuring out like, oh yeah, I learned that in class. That, that wasn't hard. I didn't totally injure myself. And then like figuring that aspect out. Um, we actually fought each other, like before they did. Yeah. And we're like, okay, we need the camera here. And I'm like, Justin, just hit me. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. So yeah. yeah. I mean, there was one hit that he was like, all right, don't hit me. Um, <laughs> like, it was a, uh, it was, it was definitely the most challenging part for me. Um, I've done the 48 hour once before, but um, I was just like a DP, so it was the first time I kind of had a, a bigger role with Everett in terms of writing and and, and directing actors like that. So um, yeah. Hi, my name is Rachel. I play the sidekick. Um, I've never done a film challenge before. I was really excited when Justin hit me up about it. Um, the what was the question? Most challenging. Most challenging or most fun? Um, well, the most fun. I like being on the set. I like playing someone else, not worrying about real life and all that stuff that you deal with. So I really we did a night shoot and it went by pretty fast. We like met at like eleven o'clock at night and we shot till like nine in the morning, something like that. They didn't stop. Like they did not stop. Um, so that was the most fun. I just like being on set. Um, most challenging was um, the fight scene. I've done like stage combat before for theater, but I've never done it for film, so it was different trying to like adjust to that difference. Thank you for your Yes. I mean, uh, so, <laughs> she said that was the most challenging because, so that take, we did that three times. Yeah. We showed the first one when she really hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that jump hit, that connect was very real. Um, <laughs> It doesn't feel good to like actually hit an actor like your scene partner because they're supposed to trust you. I felt really bad, but it was late and I'd never done that before and they were laughing and like it just like wasn't cool. I now have a couple questions. First, visually, my, my question is how many cameras did you guys use? Because I love, especially in the, the fight scene, the cuts. We just had one camera. We just, um, as ever said before, we all, me, him, Mike, um, who's our other director, you couldn't make it tonight, but uh, we're, we've all edited before. So we had the mentality of like, okay, um, if we're gonna throw a punch from this angle, then we have to go from this angle, and then we have to have her reaction be here, and his reaction be here. So it was kind of just figuring out what was gonna be the most visually appealing shot that would work for the fight scene. So we, we, we must have shot at least like 20 shots for that fight scene. And it was just kind of figuring out which ones worked with the movie. And it was all of our first fight scenes. Like we never shot fight scenes. Yeah. So like while we're writing a script, we're on YouTube, just YouTube and fight scenes. Yeah. <laughs> like, like searching up like, oh, Wonder Woman fan film. Um, <laughs> this works. And then like just kind of figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments? Um, the sound bites, did you guys, did they provide it to you or did you guys make them with yourself? Like the punching and the noise and stuff like that? 
Mike. Mike has a lot of our channels, so his dad is actually with the Bronx Doc Center, uh, Doc, the Bronx Doc Center, as well as uh, the BX Film Collective. So he has a bunch of archival, and I think they work together on that end. Originally, we wanted him in the shop, but in the, in the whole short film. But like she said, we filmed Friday night, so we wrote it, and then we just went out and filmed it that night. We called everyone out, got all the actors, and most of our audio was actually done there. Like the whole fist clutch thing was uh, Brian's jacket. He kept doing that as she clutched her fist, and I just put the boom mic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, good call. So like a lot of the stuff that was happening naturally there, that's when we grabbed most of our audio. Yep. Any other comments? Yeah. How did you decide on that take for the action? Like it was really neat, the like retirement sort of last night of one superhero passing to the other. Like where did that, how did that come so about? He was the writer, and we got action adventure. So like, all of our heads split. I was focused on adventure. They were focused on action. So he wanted a fight scene, fight scene, fight scene. I wanted storyline, storyline, storyline. And then while we're like after the meeting, we were sitting there for at least 30 minutes while they clean up chairs, and it hit me. I was like, we all read comics. Why can't it be a superhero? Mm -hmm. And we're like, all right, but that's corny. How can we make it interesting? All right, <laughs> let them retire. <laughs> so like, okay, cool. And it's a short film, so. We didn't want to put someone in the middle of the storyline. That would have required a lot of background, a lot of this, a lot of that. So any storyline, the, the, the passing of, of the torch, we thought it was great, and he went away with it. He yeah. just put some headphones on and started writing. It was really stressful. Because <laughs> um, at first, Everett, like, during the meeting, he was just like, we're going to shoot this tonight. And I was like, whole okay. Um, oh. And then he started calling people. He was like, I got ritual. And I was like, oh, OK. Um, so like, it was kind of like throwing on headphones, listening to like, I'm a big fan of like 90s scores from movies. So like I like would put on like random scores from different films and stuff like that and then just sort of like dived into it and just started writing as I ripped tapped my shoulder and said, We have this person and like my anxiety went up and I was like, Oh, I have to add this character now. And <laughs> it was sort of like doing it um, while like they're planning around me because like I mean I've worked with Everett in the past and I know him enough at this point that when he says I'm gonna pull a production crew together, I need to do my part and write it. So um, that was definitely the most challenging part, like figuring out like the writing out, figuring out that storyline. Once we all agreed it's superheroes, it was just sort of like pulling, okay, this is this is a great guy from this comic, but how can we make it original? How can we bring a different accent for it? And we were both really keen on using female superheroes to kind of highlight like it's always a guy handing it down to somebody, like let's change it up and we had a great actress to work with. Yeah, and about that, so like the way we wrote it, each for each character, whenever they had to speak, he had a paragraph. And I'm like, bro, we're gonna throw half this away. And he's like, why? Like, it's great. I'm like, it's a short film, we have 48 hours. Shout out to our actors. So they were able to read all of that, but most of it was cut. So if, you, if you're able to rewatch it, I don't know if you can, you'll see like their, their dialogue is one line is back and forth. But they had a bunch of context in order to develop their character. So it was pretty cool. How much did you sleep and how long did it Change the camera position, we're shooting with one camera, 
we have to think everything we're like. Yeah. Yeah. So setups always took the most, but once we had a record, that was, that was a fun part. Of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there was great communication, and then there was a balance of like working and then like throwing in a joke every year and there. So like, it's always like a good time. Yeah. I think it also yeah. helped that we all work together, so it's like we need yeah. some humor. Mm -hmm. So it kind of like, yeah, it kind of helped out. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your answers. Any last questions, comments? All right, thank you so much. Oh, thank you.